I'm Lucinda and we're at my studio here in Lincolnshire and I design hats for all occasions, anything from trilbies for just walking in the country or going shopping in to fascinators and big wedding hats and racing hats. For me a good hat is something that people are going to remember and something that you feel comfortable in. I've got lots of hats in, lots of different shapes and sizes and I work with mother of the brides and wedding guests and I look at their outfits and I do a colour match service. So someone will come to me with their outfit and we'll pick a hat and look at what size of hat suits their face shape and then we'll look at the colour of their outfit and the style of their outfit and I'll colour match it so they've got something that matches completely. I was a fashion assistant buyer at uh, Fenix on Bond Street at a department store there and I was going out with somebody who was taking me to the races a lot. I was quite creative anyway and I went to the London College of Fashion and did um, surface textiles there so I had that creative side and I just thought oh I you know can make these myself and I had one on my desk one day when the hat buyer came by and said um, would you like to um, show me your collection and I sort of went home and thought oh what collection um, and I put some together and they bought them and they sold and here we are today really sort of a lot bigger and a lot more professional I'd say. <laughs> So my inspiration when I'm designing a hat um, comes from deconstructing fashion trends. I then sort of sit here with lots of different materials and have a bit of a play really. I get a lot of people that say to me they don't suit hats or you know they can't wear a hat but it's totally untrue. Anyone can wear a hat, you just haven't found the right style or design for you and I just would advise people to try lots of hats on and try lots of different shapes. It's a bit like a wedding dress. You know, you think you're going to sort of only suit one certain style, but actually until you get to try a lot on, uh, then you sort of get to see what, what you can wear. Fascinator is something that can be just a bit, a bit more sort of a bit different. It's not your traditional brimmed hat, but it's not necessarily just a really small feathery thing. I do great big um, feathers on great big bands and fascinators can be real statement pieces and they're great for um, that mother of the bride piece or they're great for going to the races in. Um, they're a bit more sort of show stoppers. Old, young, anyone can wear a fascinator. You will need a hairband, two meters approximately of satin ribbon that matches your hair color, a glue gun or super glue, 20 to 30 pheasant feathers, 10 coke feathers, a curling tong, scissors, nail varnish, this can be glittery or plain, cinema disc, felt, a pen, I'm going to use a chalk pen because I'm using it on black felt, and gold spray. So first of all I'm going to measure out approximately two meters of ribbon. Your arm's width is roughly a meter. You also need to cut out some ribbon for the ends, four pieces. Stick the bits of ribbon over the end of your band. Repeat on the other side. And then get your long piece of ribbon and stick it on the inside, just at the bottom. And you're gonna wrap this round and round, covering the hairband. If you keep the ribbon tight, it stops it from puckering. When you get to the end, give yourself about a centimeter and then tuck the end underneath so that it gives you a neat finish. Next, get your felt and find something to draw around, a circular shape, and cut around your circle. Get your band and attach the cinema disc to the top of your band using glue gun. Do it just at an angle to the side. And then put glue on your felt disc and stick that to the underside of the cinema. Next we're going to curl the feathers. Some of them I'm going to do with the scissors and some of them I'm going to do with the curling tongs. So with the scissors you just run it up the spine to create a nice curl. So now I'm going to curl some with the curling tong and I'm just going to hold it between my knees to get a firm grip so I've got two hands to be able to curl the feathers. If you curl some in both directions then you get some lovely movement. So I've curled an even number of feathers, about 15 with the curling tongs and about 15 with the scissors. I've now selected about five or six of each of the feathers, take outside to spray them. So now I'm going to start to stick the feathers onto the cinema base. You just take off the very end. This is where you start to get creative. I 
and mix the sprayed ones in with the non-sprayed ones. Once you've built the feathers up around the outside, start to place them at the center. Now I'm gonna add the coke feathers in. When you add the feathers in, it's a bit like flower arranging. You want to add odd numbers, it looks better. To finish it off, I'm just going to put some glitter nail varnish at the center, just to give it a bit of sparkle. Finished. That thing that gives me a buzz is when I'm just sat here in my studio and somebody buys one of my hats. And it's wonderful to see people in their outfits wearing my hats and when I receive photos of them, it always gives me that great buzz. Huge thanks to Lucinda from Hosty Hats. Don't forget to subscribe to Bride to Force and see you soon.